Kwingine kwa ni kwamba wataalamu wa masala ya usalama wameonya kwamba vikosi maalum vya kukabiliana na uhalifu havistahili kuhusishwa kwenye makabiliano ya maandamano kwani kuna uwezekano mkubwa kwa baadhi yao kutumia nguvu kupita kiasi kuzuia maandamano kutokana na mazoea ya shughuli zao. Aidha inaofiwa kwamba kutumika kwa vikosi hivyo maalum vya kupambana na uhalifu huenda kukafufua mauaji na utekaji nyara wa kihistoria kama anavyoeleza Seth Olale. Huku halmashauri ya kuangazia utendakazi wa polisi aipoa ikiendeleza uchunguzi dhidi ya madai ya mauaji yaliyotekelezwa na maafisa usalama kwa waandamanaji wanaopinga utendakazi wa serikali ya rais William Ruto mjadala umeibuka kuhusu kutumika kwa kikosi maalum cha kukabiliana na uhalifu kwenye maandamano kikosi hicho ambacho kinajumuisha polisi wasiovaa sare zao rasmi kilishuhudiwa hasa katika mitaa ya Mlolongo na Madhare ambapo kuliripotiwa vifo vya waandamanaji aidha maafisa hao wa usalama vile vile walishika doria kwenye eneo la Jakaranda na Kayole wakati wa maandamano wiki iliyopita Victor Juma, mkazi wa Madhare, ni miongoni mwa wale waliokamatwa na maafisa wa kitengo hicho wakati wa maandamano katika mtaa wa Madhare. Jirani akakuwa na niita jo. Viki mtoto wako apigwa tiagas na wako ndani ya nyumba. Unaweza kuja kumtake, umtoe nje. Umtoe nje uende umuone venye atakuwa fine kama mbia msimtoe nje jutiaga siko nje most. Sasa mngoje kwanza iishe madaenda kama wataalamu wa maswala ya usalama wameona kwamba vikosi maalum vya kukabiliana na uhalifu havipaswi kuhusika kukabiliana na maandamano kwani kuna uwezekano kubwa kwa baadhi yao kutumia nguvu zaidi if you look at me dressed in a police uniform then you will say this is a police person with a specific objective but when i come and mingle with you you have no idea who i am because of my dressing is more or less similar to yourself and then in a short while he has a gunshot and somebody's down then he tells you now the success there will be measured by where you are but countrywide extrajudicial killing is something that we all condemn and is becoming a problem mbali na madai ya visa vya mauaji dhidi ya waandamanaji kikosi hicho kinaaminika vile vile kutumika kuwateka nyara viongozi wa mrengo wa upinzani kwa madai kwamba wanahusika na udhamini na mpangilio wa maandamano kabla ya kuafikisha washukiwa kotini every country and every security formation or special units their boundaries are to act within the limits of the constitution and within the service provision if the service provides that there is the prerequisite requisition for i for us to form a, a special unit that we shall form the unit but then when we deploy the unit it is important that the structure of management of that unit the policy framework for the function of that unit and the administrative control for that unit had to be specifically defined and the operators of that unit Kikosi maalum cha hapo awali cha kukabiliana na uhalifu almarufu SSU kilivunjiliwa mbali na mkurugenzi mpya wa idara ya ujasusi Mohamed Amin baada ya rais William Ruto kuapa kwamba visa vya mauaji na utekitaji nyara havitashuhudiwa tena Huku idara ya polisi ikishikilia kwamba inatumia mbinu husika ili kuepuka maafa na vile vile uharibifu wa mali wataalamu katika sekta ya usalama wanasema kwamba mbinu hizo lazima ziwe kulingana na katiba Seth Olale Runinga ya Citizen County ya Nairobi